novel moving forward so I was like a crab I am um, I didn't know what I was going to do next I thought I was going to go back to my uh, other practice my visual arts practice uh, but um, I had a friend come down to visit me and he he told me that he um he, he told me this amazing love story and he wanted me to write it and um, he said his story, and I thought to myself, "Well, all right, I'm not doing anything. I'll write his story." No, it was from his point of view, and he's telling me about the woman that he was in love with. But as I began to write it, I realized I'm not interested in telling somebody else's story. I, I and you know that was um, fact. I'm a uh, I'm a fiction writer, and the supposed woman that he would have been in love with began it began to come alive in my head in a really interesting way. And practically anything he had told me in real life, this character that was developing in my head began to contradict. And I just fell in love with what was happening and I followed her story and it was it, it, it was that's what ended up as a polar vortex, and okay. she's a, she's you know she's um she's a lesbian. Now the story that he told me involved no lesbian characters, but I just uh, took off with this, and she's a lesbian who's been married to an, a woman for several years, and um has uh this friend coming down to see her, this man whom her partner has never heard of. So that's the beginning of the story. Right, and I was following there. Now, did you, okay, I, when, I was, when I was reading through the book there a couple of times, I got, did you sometimes, because the character Alex, okay, did you sometimes switch to tell it from Alex's point of view as well as, as from uh, uh, the, other, the other lady's uh, point of view? I, I'm, I'm, can, I, can I ask that? Uh, or well, what happened, what happened yeah. was I was writing in the main character, Priya, the one I was telling you about right. just now. Priya. Priya. I was writing Priya. in her, from her point of view. And she's a slippery character. She's very, very slippery. She tells you one thing one minute, and then the next minute she kind of changes the story a little bit. She's what might be called um, an, an unreliable narrator. But okay. um, if you understand what's going on with her, you'd realize, well, it's probably not so, so unreliable. This is probably a very real state of mind. Now, the, the problem with writing a character like that, by the time, not only writing a character like that, but reading a character like that, when it did make the switch, from her point of view to the point of view of Alex, her partner, uh -huh. I had actually, I had actually been so frustrated with Priya, with Priya's duplicitness, uh, sorry, du duplicity and her um, her constant um, uh, retelling of a story in a different way, that I felt, you know, I've got to stop. I've got to stop her. 
I need another point of view to come in. And I was thinking to myself that even a reader would want another point of view at this point. The okay. only thing is that when Alex comes in, she actually confirms the confusion that is going on in Priya's head. So when Alex comes in, Alex is not talking about herself. Alex is talking about Priya. Okay, that, that explains it, okay? That, that helps me understand it, okay? It is a fascinating book. It really is. It's fascinating, the points of view that, that they had and things like this. And, you know, uh, I know so many women who can probably uh, feel uh, the same things that went on, you know, uh, that went on in, 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 in Priya's life there. And with, I pronounced his name right, Prakash? Prakash. 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 Yeah, Prakash. Okay. So, so are, you saying, Steve, are you saying that this doesn't happen in men's lives? Oh, no, it does happen. It does happen. <laughs> it does happen. Oh, no, it does. It does. And, and uh, it does for sure. But the, uh, I, can, I can picture this happening. I really can. I, I, I can picture it in my mind. And, and, yeah. how this, and, and how someone could be fascinated with someone and, and, then, and then become infatuated with them. And there were parts of the story, I don't want to give anything away here because uh, I'm going to let you do that, what you're, you're willing to let the audience know, because uh, there were parts of the story there. I was afraid for, uh, for uh, Priya, you know, what was going to happen to her. <laughs> yes. there's in, in, some of the, in some of the scenes there that you laid out, and, and that uh, the, if I can share one of them, it was back when they made the trip to San Francisco, and he wanted her to go to San Francisco with him. And, yes. and, and she says in her mind, oh, I should have been so foolish, you know, that I knew nothing was free, you know, like right. and that there and everything. And it, uh, but, there, uh, but then the other one, uh, later when he makes the trip and, and sees her and they reconnect after all these years, you know, mm -hmm. that's the scenes that really get scary, you know. And I'm thinking yes, that she yes. goes, <laughs> What's going to happen here? And then, of course, there's more twists and turns as it, it, it goes to the end. But uh, you, have a, you have an incredible story there. Did, uh, when, you were, when you were telling the story here and putting it together, did you by chance base this on any real-life situations that you knew about? Well, in case the guy was telling you the story, you said that. Okay, but was there any other real-life situations that you based it on or stories that you heard, something that may have led you to yeah. point well, out some of the... No, I can't say that I have heard, you know, any specific story that I was, um, I was relating to or, or relating. Um, but um, let me see. In some, well, okay, so because my friend had asked me to write his story, and that part was true, but, but that doesn't appear in the book whatsoever. I actually had begun to write it, as I told you, and then the story began to tick off in a particular di direction. Now, what I began to write was the truth of a, a friend coming to visit me, but there wasn't all that tension. My, my partner and I know this man well, so that had nothing to do with it. Okay. What? But the 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 trajectory, um, the movement from um, from the house to the um, the park in which the story ends is an actual rail drive that you can take. Um, the the scene where the um, the, the the two women go to the beach, uh, what was once a beach, but it's now, you know, I'm talking about it in the time of the polar vortex, so it's all ice and so on. That was a real trip I took. So there are little things like that that appear that are real, but they are like descriptive. They're the setting of the scene. But what happens in that scene is not, is not um, there are no real stories there. But what happens for me when I get into a character, and I really did get into into um, Priya's head, is that um, uh, it, I mean it's almost as if one becomes the character, and okay. one situation creates the next situation that creates the next 
situation, and it becomes very, very um, rare. Now, I don't write with a plot outline, with any kind of outline, and I'm not interested in plot-driven stories. My stories really are about ideas, so I stick very, very close to what might happen with a character, how they might really think. I really get inside of them. Um, and I think that is why um, I'm getting the response from readers that there's a feeling of this being very real. Yes, yes. Which I think is where your question comes from. But um, no, it's just a... Uh, it's just that sticking so close to the, to, to in, getting so far deeply into the character and letting her take me away. Exactly, exactly. I, I, I can follow that part of what you're saying there, exactly. Um, what are and, and when she changes her mind about something, I don't go back and say, but wait a minute, she said this earlier, let's stick with that. I just follow, I just follow. <laughs> That's it. That was it, yeah. and... and um, so, um, when uh, when you were th- you were thinking through the the the, uh, the 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 trajectory of the of the book and everything, uh, there were some interesting scenes in there where I remember uh, that Alex and Priya were together, and uh, Priya it was uh, Priya that had uh, the oh, wait a minute, is it Alex or Priya? I get confused now. Which one was deleted all their accounts and everything? And, Priya. Uh, Priya. Priya deleted mm-hmm. all. That's right, because she didn't want Prakash to, to contact her. That's, that was it, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and so she was sitting there and looking at all of Alex's stuff and everything. And then you could tell that she was, uh, you know, because she wanted the computer on her lap, it said, and stuff like this, and she wanted to be able to click and everything. So you could tell that she was missing some of her social uh connections that she had and uh, that, that that was interesting that was interesting to follow that you could tell her mind was shifting a little bit here and there and what yes yes to... yes and, uh... um, yeah I, I don't know what to say about that because it really is just following this really shifty character now what's interesting for me um, more more than what happened in the book because I, I, I followed very closely um, what was happening in the book in my own in my own body, and I found myself, um, you know, like thinking. I I, be, I began to think. Wait a minute, you know, when even when I talk with my partner, my actual real life partner, um, are we are we doing things like this? Are we actually saying things to each other but what's going on in our minds is not what's coming out of our mouths. So I began to even like, you know, doubt and watch what how people were talking to each other and so it kinda of crept into my real life. And um I was I was happy to be finished writing the book, to to be able to get out of it, shake that off. Because it yeah. really is um it really was about about Secrets and uh, lies, and uh, you, you know, I mean, you you give up all of this stuff, and it's going. You give up all of this stuff to move from the city to the countryside to to leave to leave secrets. To, you think you're leaving the secrets behind, but in fact, they will follow you. And not only will they fo- follow you, but they will catch up with you. And um, yeah, I just I really enjoyed writing it, but I was happy to be finished with it. Some of the uh, the the uh, the the uh, part about from coming from Uganda and the Idi Amin and all the history historical facts involved in there and that and the flight and everything from there, you know that that was fascinating part of history too that you put in the book. That was that was very interesting. How, yeah, which became. How, yeah. Sorry. Uh huh. Ask the question. Well, that that's what I'm getting the point. Uh, what you know? What what. Uh, did that? Did that? You, you. I'm sure part of that's real history, and because uh, I, I know it is. <laughs> and yeah. but uh, what led you to put that? Was, was that part of your friend's experience or somebody who that, led you to write that? Yeah. Yeah. That that is part of my friend's um, experience. But um, 
But the reason that it became interesting to me is that when um, Priya and 